Hi, this is Mark with SafeDayTrading.org. We'd like to get free information on how to safely day trade the market for real, consistent profits and change your life forever. Go now to SafeDayTrading.org, sign up for the free course. Again, that's SafeDayTrading.org. If you follow the safe day dot, you'll make a lot. Hi, everybody. Today is uh, September 17th, 2020. It was a nice weather day. Um, the market stayed about flat. The Dow for the day has been about flat. It was up or it was down uh, when I first started trading and it got to kind of flat and kind of stayed there. There's not much movement uh, according to the news people. Um, the, the people are not confident in what the Fed says. It has more bullets uh, to help the market and uh, doesn't think that they can keep the inflation down at 2%. So there's a lot of consternation there, and, uh, but there's kind, of, there's kind of a lot of consternation everywhere. OPEC met today to just try to decide if they're going to uh, raise or lower their production. Right now, oil went back up to 40 bucks. I think if you remember, it was at... 35, 36, now it's back up to almost 41. Um, so that tells me that they're probably going to lower production. Gold is still floating in that 1950 range, up and down a little bit. Uh, the unemployment, uh, uh, jobless claims was pretty good. Uh, but again, there's a, just a lot of, a lot of concern. Um, the closer we get to November 4th or November 3rd, um, all, everything producing right now is all political. I see that the Democrats are starting to say that the rioters, oh, the peaceful uh, protesters have gone a little too far. And so uh, I don't know about that. A lot of talk now, too, about the uh, stimulus package. Uh, and what's going to happen there. Uh, billions of dollars have been burned up in um, Portland and Seattle, Minneapolis, and uh, so there's a lot of, uh, I guess there's just a lot of issues. So I think if I was you and uh, I had an idea, I wanted to start learning to trade and stuff, I would probably start really getting into it right now um, because... Once November 3rd is done, no matter who wins, there's going to be a lot of volatility. And with a lot of volatility comes a lot of potential for profit, okay? Whether it goes up, whether it goes down, um, I think that to the market, the Dow is going to continue to go up until the next uh, false flag shows up, whatever that might be. You know, we've had riots, now we had fire. I'm looking for uh, red red uh, blood in the river or uh, frogs or locusts. I don't know what's coming next, but I'm sure there's going to be at least two or three more things before uh, November 3rd. And uh, so it's really important that you start looking at how you're going to manage your um, potential uh, potential wealth, okay? And especially uh, think about what you're going to do with your IRA and your 401k. Um, also think about how you're going to manage it. You're going to go to get uh, gold to gold and wait for things to settle out or are you going to let it run or what's going to happen? Uh, it's just going to be kind of an interesting, interesting time. I talked to a couple of guys in the last week or so that have started to shift to actually hard gold and hard silver. So they're actually starting to uh, store some of that just in case. I also talked to a couple of people that are starting, starting to uh, accumulate cash. Um, and as they accumulate the cash, you know, they're putting away uh, $10,000, $20,000 uh, somewhere other than the banks just in case something happens. So there's a lot of emergency funds that are being created right now. And, hey, I wouldn't blame you. I wouldn't blame you. I start thinking about it, you know, even if you have a couple hundred dollars 
in an emergency fund just in case God knows what's going to happen. So just a thought to share with you. Um, and I hate to be a doomsayer, but, uh, you know, you've got to start thinking about this because, uh, you know, again, just think about it. See what you want to do about it. The other thing that I want to talk about today is something that really, really helped me to become a better trader and a good trader. And that was as I partnered up with a couple of guys. Uh, one, uh, I actually partnered up with the guys that I, I'm partners now. But, you know, we started that in probably 2012, 2013. And we each taught each other a lot of information as we started to get better and better at trading. Um, you know, one person would bring in this piece of this piece of information, another person would bring in this piece of information. And we really started to gel our thought process that fits us in terms of determining when to trade and when not to trade, okay? So what I'm suggesting to you guys and gals is that you go find somebody, maybe somebody a little bit more skilled than you, um, and start hanging around them, start talking to them, start trading with them. So what we did before when we first started is we just got on the phone and it was just the three of us and we'd just be talking about getting into this trade or getting into that trade and what we thought and all kinds of stuff like that. And as that grew year by year, it became uh, better for us as traders and we became much more skilled. So I just kind of want to throw that out to you guys. Um, and, you know, the nice thing about it is that... Uh, one of my partners is in Florida. Another one of my partners is in, uh, my trading partners, um, is in Minneapolis. And I'm in the middle between them. So think about that. So it doesn't have to be uh, locally. It could be uh, worldwide, actually, or at least uh, U.S.-wide. So look for somebody and see if you can find somebody that will really help you a lot. Okay? Anyway, talk to you later. Hey everybody, I want to mention too that we have a YouTube site called Safe Day Trading, which we show you trades that we make with the techniques that we use. You can also send me questions that you might have at mark at safedaytrading.org. Anyway, talk to you later.